I really like books by Pamela Allen. I have quite a lot. So this is one of my favorite books. As you can see, it's been loved through and through. So I've read it so many times. So I had to put sticky tape. So children in my kindergarten group really love this story. It's quite an amusing story and interesting, uh, provoking problem solving and thinking as well. Felix by Pamela Allen. Every night, Felix sleeps upstairs on Molly's bed. Every morning, they come downstairs together. One morning, when they came down for breakfast, they found Grandpa and Grandma in the kitchen. Grandma was very cross. Someone's been nibbling the bread, she shouted. Look, she held up the loaf. They've been eating the jam, too, she cried. It wasn't me, said Grandpa. It wasn't me, said Molly. Could it be Felix? Felix knew it wasn't him. That night, when everyone was asleep, Felix jumped off Molly's bed and crept downstairs. He was going to catch the thief. He searched under the shelves, in the kitchen cupboards. He looked up high along the bench tops. He crept into the pantry and quietly, cautiously peered around the corner. And what do you think he saw? He saw a little gray mouse licking the last of the strawberry jam from the bottom of the jam jar. Stealthily, Felix stalked, creeping, crawling, slinking, slithering, until... Whoosh! He pounced. He tried to reach the little gray mouse at the bottom of the jar, but his head was too big. He pushed and shoved and pushed and shoved until his ears were squashed and his whiskers bent. He pushed and shoved until he was stuck. Stuck in this jar. Poor Felix. What was he going to do? He could see the little gray mouse racing around and around. He tried to get rid of the jar. He shook it and he swung it the way, this way and that. High and low, up and down, up and down. Bang, 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 bang. But he couldn't get it off. He banged so loud that he woke Grandma. Oh, dear, cried the Grandma. Bang, 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 bang. She sat down and picked up the big fat cat. Felix was very still. Grandma took hold of the jar and carefully twisted and turned, twisted and turned, but she couldn't get it off. She couldn't see the little gray mouse racing around and around and around. Over there. Oh dear, sobbed Grandma, and she went and woke Grandpa. Bang, bang. We'll soon fix this, said Grandpa. Gently he twisted and turned the jar. He wiggled and he wobbled it. He jiggled and he joggled it, but he couldn't get it off. He too could see the poor little mouse racing around and around and around. They tried again. This time, Grandma held Felix and Grandma held the jar. She wiggled and she wobbled it. She pushed it and she pulled it. But still, Felix was stuck. Stuck in the jar. Grandma woke Molly. Maybe she could help. Oh, poor Felix, wailed Molly and she gave him a great big hug. They tried really, really they tried again. All of them this time. Grandpa twisted and turned the jar. She wiggled and she wobbled it. She jiggled and she joggled it. They pulled and they pulled and they pulled. But still, Felix was stuck. Poor frustrated Felix. Now he was cross, very cross. He flung his head up and down up and down bang 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 
until suddenly, smash! The little mouse flew high in the air and landed with a plop in the corner of the room. She ran and he ran and he ran and he ran out of the door and was gone. That mouse won't come back, said Grandma. What a clever cat! And she gave Felix a saucer of milk. Grandpa swept up the broken glass and they all sat down for a mug of hot chocolate. When the last drop was drunk, it was time to cl climb the stairs to bed. Once on Molly's bed, Felix licked the last of the strawberry jam from behind his ears, then snuggled down and curled himself into a ball. Good night, Felix, whispered Molly, and they both fell fast asleep.